So this is the longest stage, what it looks like anyway. Muggio is in the outskirts of Milan. And then we head in a broadly speaking southwesterly direction, taking in two intermediate sprints before the one categorized climb of the day. And that comes in the finale. Four and a half kilometers at a 10% average and into a finishing circuit. And they go over a very interesting ramp. More of that to come in the final two and a half kilometers. Now Moser goes, so Navadauskas does drop away and uh, there's a reaction immediately from Gianluca Brambilla. So Moser and Brambilla, two Italians, are after Pavel Brut. How close are they to reeling in the Russian? The answer is pretty close. Moser's looking extremely strong. It does look like it's these two Italians that are the strongest out of the breakaway, pretty much as we expected, really. Brambilla of Etics quick step in the blue there, and Moreno Moser there in the green behind. These two Tinkoff sacks arrives are going to have to keep going all the way to the top. There is quite a long descent and flat road that comes afterwards, so they mustn't give up. I've got my clock going out, 21 seconds, so it is starting to come back reasonably significantly. Now, Trentin, not known for his climb, he's got over that previous one pretty well, but that short, steep climb should suit him. He's quite explosive as a rider. Matteo Trenton, the rider on the left-hand side of your screens there. So in a very commanding position here, Etix Quick Step, 18 seconds now being given on our screens. Undone. Meanwhile, Moser attacks, and he's out of his saddle, and it's a big, muscular gesture from the young Italian from Cannondale. Brambilla is living with him, though, and right on his wheel. Brambilla has not been gapped by that big acceleration. And now you'd have to say, is it over to you, Gianluca Brambilla, for the next move? And sure enough, it is. He takes a slight inside line on the really steep sections. Now, Moser is rocking from side to side, and beginning ever so slightly. Well, he's now he's back on again. So these two, you cannot separate them. He's just waiting to open up his sprint. Moser knows he's there, but Moser appears to be in control. And there is Matteo Trentin, as if from nowhere. What are they going to do about him? And what is Trentin going to do? Just 200 metres to go now. Moser still on the front. Does he even know Trentin is there? Now he does, because Trentin opens up a sprint on Trentin. Surely it's going to take this win. 50 metres to go. Brambilla allowed him to do it. Moser, no chance of responding. What a brilliant win from a brilliant rider, Matteo Trentin. Surely one of the most popular winners on domestic duty. Confirmation of the stage result then. Matteo Trentin takes a famous win here from two other Italians. Morena Mosa in second place, just undone on the line. Gianluca Brambilla, the teammate of Trentin, in third. And another Italian, Sasha Modolo, the sprinter, taking a very creditable fourth place. Well, there they are. The general classification unchanged. It's as you were. And the gap between Esteban Chavez and Stephen Christ fighting first and second is still three minutes. Uh, this man won't, the ebullient Matteo Trentin. Hugely capable rider, isn't he? Can do it on so many different terrain. Yeah, he's he's a finisher, isn't he? He's yeah. somebody that, when he's given the opportunity, tends to come away with a win, uh, which is very different to a lot of riders who you know get their opportunities but might finish in a third or a fourth place. Moser seems to be getting that way, to be honest, over the last few years. So reliable in terms of picking off big results as the season progresses, and that's really what Essex Quick Step are all about. They don't have a huge GC rider. They look like they might well do in the future with Bob Jungles, but uh, at the moment it's all about stage wins and publicity.